children are eating up to three times too much sugar every day, the equivalent of 15 sugar cubes, as parents ignore health warnings, a major survey of the nation's diet has found. In youngsters aged between 4 and 10, sugar makes up 13% of their daily calories, more than twice the recommended limit of 5%. Those aged 11 to 18 have daily diet made up of 15% sugar, three times the recommended amount. Adults, those aged between 19 and 64, are also failing to set an example with 12% of their diets made up of sugar. Consumption of red meat and saturated fat, both linked to obesity and heart disease, is also still too high, according to the Public Health England survey. And at the same time, Britons are still not eating enough healthy fruit and vegetables to get the recommended five a day. Professor Nina Modi, president of the Royal College of Pediatrics and Child Health, said, The results of this survey are extremely worrying. The health risks posed by failure to tackle sugar intake are serious. An overweight or obese child is highly likely to be an overweight or obese adult, increasing the risk of developing the risk of developing heart disease type 2 diabetes and some cancers. The National Diet and Nutrition Survey found that a fifth of UK 5-year-olds and a third of 11-year-olds are overweight or obese, although their rates are no longer rising. They are still among the worst in Europe. There is a slight drop in the amount of sugar children are consuming via soft drinks such as Coke or Pepsi. Those aged 4 to 10 drank 100 milliliters of sugary drinks per day on average in 2012-14, a drop from 130 milliliters per day in 2008 tenths. This was seized on by campaigners against the government's planned sugar tax who called for a review of the policy. Gavin Partington of the British Soft Drinks Association said, we're pleased the data shows a decline of over 8% in teenagers' sugar intake from soft drinks between 2012 and 2014. Independent analysis confirms that sugar intake from soft drinks has been reduced by over 16% in the last four years. It seems odd to punish progress with a tax which risks job losses and higher prices for consumers when our efforts are clearly having an impact. Ethical guidelines state that people should eat no more than 2.5 ounces of red and processed meat per day, but men still eat too much while women are reducing the amount they consume. Children have diets in which 13% of their daily calorie intake comes from saturated fat, compared with a target of less than 11%. The figure is 12.6% for those aged 11 to 18, while adults get 12.7% of their energy from saturated fat. There has been no change in consumption of fruit and vegetables in almost a decade, with those aged 11 to 18 managing just 2.8 portions per day on average. Adults eat 4 portions, while there are no specific recommendations for young children, found the research, funded by Public Health England and the UK Food Standards Agency. Just 27% of adults, 35% of those aged 65 and over and 8% of 11 to 18 year olds currently meet the 5 a day recommendation for fruit and vegetables. Typical consumption of oily fish among all age groups was well below the recommended one portion per week, and there has been little evidence of change over time. Oily fish includes anchovies, mackerel, herring, pilchards, salmon and fresh tuna. Dr. Alison Tedstone, Chief Nutritionist at PHE, said, this is compelling evidence that we all need to eat more fruit, veg, fiber and oily fish and cut back on sugar, salt and saturated fat to improve our health. Watch more videos at video.5la.net.